Hello again, my antisocials. It's me, the friendliest killer you know, and we are living our best life while making sure the survivors don't. So we are playing as Plague. We're going for the redemption arc after the first time I tried to play Plague, which went horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, this one, not so bad. I put more blood points into her, so I unlocked more of her, um, whatchamacallem, add-ons. And I got barbecue. It's only it's only tier one, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? I still don't really know how to play Plague properly. I'm just, I'm trying, I'm experimenting. <laughs> But uh, I'm glad this went a lot better than the first one. So we find another victim to puke on. Living up to our title of Vommy Mummy. Uh, I'm using the purple infection add-on, which I thought might actually affect him a little bit faster than it did. But hey, good enough. Uh, right about here, I think. Yep, she's about to become broken, I believe. There we go. Um, oddly enough, I could have sworn the grab animation started there, but I know there's a, a desync issue on the servers, unfortunately, so that could have been the problem. And she goes down. Uh, I'm also using her ultra rare add-on, which shows me survivor auras whenever they throw up. Uh, <laughs> and since they get infected so quickly, I'm hoping that it will uh, come in quite useful. I really thought she'd camp the pallet there. Um, see, now, I didn't think she went too far away. So she, she runs there, right? And I go back. And I kind of suspected that the LED would not wander away too far. I, I just had this feeling that she would desperately want the rescue. <laughs> so we hook her in the... That is actually the best spot in the basement for hooks. It, it's the spot that takes the longest for a survivor to make the rescue. But anyway, I suspected LG would probably come back, so I check around this rock and what do you know? There she is. <laughs> My intuitions are incredible. I know, I know. Now, I got a bit confused here because I thought that um, that I was on the other side of the chapter with the ramp up, but I was wrong. And I missed. Hopefully it does not take uh, behavior too long to fix the desync issue. Because it's very annoying. Especially when I try to try to play Survivor. So that's our second hook of the game. Not too bad. There's only uh, one generator done too. So we're, on, we're making good progress. Someone's still broken. Um, she's infected. The other person's infected. <laughs> Just everyone's infected. Everyone gets some vomit. Now, I thought she might just go into the uh, lockers, but I, I was wrong. You know, I'm not I'm not frequently wrong, but in this instance, I was wrong. So since we had the uh, notification, we'll go over there. There's bound to be two survivors. That's the one thing. Since I can't find any survivors, if someone gets off the hook, generally speaking, that means there's at least two survivors there. So it's it's good to go back and check. As a survivor, I typically take the uh, will make it perk so I can heal survivors quite quickly. So <laughs> generally speaking, I tend to heal unhookers by the hook just because I can do it so quickly. Like will make it a med kit, botany knowledge, healing's done in no time. And if there's someone else, then ooh. But anyway, <laughs> we're playing Plague, not Survivor. So, yep, I saw you, and I knew she was going to try and do head on again, so I thought, okay, just get her out of there. Luckily, she doesn't have decisive strike, or it's more than 60 seconds, it's one of the two. Break the pallet so it's no longer an issue. Okay, so now the gen's done. So things don't look too good at the moment, but that doesn't mean we can't turn it around. It's 
she finished healing at the most annoying time possible. <laughs> damn you. Damn you to hell. I cannot aim that vomit at all. Okay, I don't really know what she was trying to do there. I also don't know how I missed. I'm guessing that was part of the desync issue. Um, that could also explain why the vomit missed, actually, because I could have sworn it actually went through her. Like, how did, how did none of that hit? What? Ridiculous. <laughs> <sighs> Puke just doesn't have enough velocity for my liking. Thankfully, I called that right, and down she goes. <sighs> I'm getting slightly better at predicting um, which side of a wall survivors will vault on. Mind freak, man. Mind freak. So I knew she was coming, but I think I charged up my puke way too early. Still, it worked out. She got <laughs> she got a nice burst <laughs> in her face. <laughs> That's the fun thing about uh, plague. I like it's gross, but it's also like just really fun throwing up. <laughs> now she's broken too. <laughs> Down she goes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. So now we have two in the basement. People, I really need to get this across to people. If the killer's hooking in the basement, your first port of call should not be to rush the basement to try and get the unhook. The, it should be to wait for the killer to leave. If they don't leave, formulate a plan. But, you know, don't just go there immediately. It's, it's bad. It's very bad. If you've seen my Leatherface video, you'll know what happens when survivors try and camp the uh, basement. <laughs> that was just like the most ridiculous thing. So I'm going back there because I know there's at least three people. And since they're vomiting everywhere, I can see their auras, which is fantastic. She doesn't have time to heal, so I whack, thwack her. She's puking in the basement, so I'm going to come whack her too. Now, she's probably got a decisive strike. So I left her, however, um, since I can't find anyone else, I just decided to go back to the first person, see if there's anyone that could heal her, maybe. It wasn't, but she also had decisive strike. There is a upcoming change to Decisive Strike. It's okay. Like, I definitely think it's a positive change, but I don't necessarily think it does enough. And yeah, we caught her. I'm getting better at those too. I don't know what that technique is called. Like, everything's like something tech, but I don't know any of these words. So, the Vault Tech. I don't know. Oh, that was Fallout. Okay. Uh, Anyway, um, so we got a, another death. Only one gen, though. Uh, at this point, it's really difficult for a survivor, I know. Um, but it's... <laughs> I kind of almost mind-gamed myself there. She's trying to get inside me. Um, a lot of people say the same thing about Plague. So I can't blame them, since it's a common occurrence. <laughs> so I mind game myself again. She actually ran off. So that's my fault. So we're going to go check that gen out, just in case she's working on that one, which I believe she is. There's the scratch marks. I almost got fooled. Almost. And how did none of that puke hit her? Like... This that's disgusting. And not the vomit, but the fact none of it hit her is disgusting. <sighs> Come on, Plague. Heave. Heave ho. Go on. Give it some welly. 
I th I caught her here, thankfully, with some with some puke. Lovely. Thwack. <laughs> so I leave her because I don't. I I always go for the 4K. Here's the thing. I am a very friendly killer. I don't camp unless they have object of obsession, in which case they deserve it. <laughs> but I don't tunnel unless it's accidentally. Um. I don't know why I couldn't whack it immediately there, but whatever. Um, but d just because I don't exhibit toxic behavior doesn't also mean that I'm not trying to win. Like, I'm, of course, I'm trying to go for the 4K. So we bash this gen. I can see Whispers is still on, so there's only really one place you could be. <laughs> oh, what a surprise! So we'll hook her and then go back for the Nia. And she's wearing my favorite Nia costume too, so it seems a shame to kill her, but we gotta do what we gotta do. This overall was a fairly good game, and I, I'm really glad I could redeem myself after the last play game, which didn't go so well. Thankfully, I'm not completely blind, and I saw the blood. I don't usually... But in this case, I did, and I'm thankful for my eyes. We'll see how uh, long that lasts for. <laughs> and there we go. 4K Plague Gameplay, baby! I don't know when I'll play Plague next. Uh, Non-stealth killers give me stress. <laughs> More stress than I'm used to. <laughs> Also, I really thought that her corrupted vomit could um, still infect objects. I was wrong. But thank you for watching, and bye for now.